what a beautiful uh, opportunity that the Lord is giving me to be part of this great convention. I bring you greetings from the international office, international officers, and uh, we are very glad that we you have this great convention. But uh, I want to thank uh, the national president and the, and the board, the committee of this convention, to this uh, to give me this special invitation to be part of this great event. Uh, distinguished members of the main table, distinguished uh, guests, main speakers of the, this uh, convention, presidents of the nations. It's my privilege to be here and greet you in the name of the International Office. I am thrilled. I'm overwhelmed about your showing me your love in every corner, everywhere I go. There is the sense of this convention is love, love between us. And you are showing that. You are showing that. You know, every time that I come to Ghana, every time that I put my feet in this, this land, the Lord is keep telling me, keep telling me the great love that, that he has for every one of you people of the Ghana nation. It's very important that you, you are doing a great job. You know, uh, these two uh, days that, uh, uh, that I've been here, I'm being part of, of what you're doing in the marketplace. And it is very important. This is very important, what you are doing. And I'm shoulder by shoulder with you in two days, getting into the marketplace and see how the people needs this love, this beautiful love that the only, this beautiful God has for us. So you're doing a great job. And uh, let me tell you one thing. You, uh, right now, people around Latin America from 17 nations are seeing this, this convention. <laughs> seeing this convention. So, every time that that camera hits you, put a smile. Put a smile. <laughs> Because people from Latin America are seeing you. And someone uh, already told us, we don't understand uh, the, the, the music or, or the language, you know. We, we've sent some uh, videos of what we did in the marketplace, and I don't know, the, the region that we went yes, uh, yesterday. And, and the, 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 the dialect, uh, uh, the, the way that you, I don't know how, the, how to say it, but the, the language of the people, I don't know, and they say, we don't understand the language, but we understand something. We feel the love of the people. We feel the love of what you're doing there in Africa. Wow, what a wonderful thing that it is being. You know, 20 nations. 20 nations. Wow. Beautiful. The Lord is doing something new in this fellowship. Yeah, he's doing something new. And you and me are part of this, these times. We have challenging times in front of us, but we have the power of the Holy Spirit with us to, to, to complete, to fulfill the call of the Lord to this beautiful fellowship that we have. So let's prepare ourselves, prepare ourselves to go and reach souls because that's our command. That's our goal. That must be our goal in these times. Reach those souls. Reach those people that need some word. We already have it. We already have it. And I'm glad what I've been hearing about what this fellowship is, is start to do in this nation. It's, it's wonderful. You have men in charge that I've taken care of this nation. And I'm thrilled to be part of this. I'm thrilled to be part of what you're doing in Ghana. People are seeing, but most of all, God is seeing us. 
our behavior, how we walk. The moment, the moment that you start walking through our call, then comes the power of the Holy Spirit and will embrace you and keep you and going and going and going because that's the promise of Him. The promise of the Lord, the promise of the Lord Jesus Christ to go and fulfill our call in this fellowship. There's no more time. No more time. We need to do what we call to do. So I'm, I'm walking. I want to walk with you shoulder by shoulder. Go. Go where we need to take this world, this beautiful love of the Lord. It is time. It is time that we take this power, take this love, and turn out of the four walls and go out and release this beautiful Jesus Christ to every soul out there that wants a simple word, but powerful at the same time. Love. Love. That will change the world. It is changing the world. So he will change Ghana. He will change Ghana. Love. Love. But we need to show. So, I salute you, Ghana. I salute you. I salute you. I pray and I ask the Lord to bless the national authorities of this nation. I pray for you. I pray for the youth because our the future of this fellowship. Let's not forget the youth. Let not forget the youth because it's the future of this beautiful vision that we have. Let's support the, the youth. It is the future of this of this nation. So whenever you see a young people, just hey, here's my hand. Let me help you. So let's do it together, together. We are focused. We have that in our hearts. Focus in our command. Focus with the Lord who, where he wants to take us. I took part of the uh, uh, European convention two months ago in Sweden. And, I, and, and the president of, and the regional vice president said, Mario, this is in, incredible. How come 24 nations appear, be part of that convention? It was beautiful. The Lord is doing something new in this fellowship. So you are, and you and I, I'm gonna be part of this great army, this great army. What the Lord is trying to do in these coming years. Let's prepare ourselves, who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready, said the Lord? Who's ready, said the Lord? Let's do it together because we have what we need. We, what we need? The power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is with us. So let's do it together. You can count on the international president. You can count on the international board. We are here for you. We are here to listen to you. And whatever you need, we're going to be here with you, with your authorities, blessing this nation, blessing all of you, because you're so special for the Lord. Just turn your head and see what, what, what the, the person are, are, are beside you. See him. And tell, and tell him, you're very special for the Lord. You're very special for the Lord. Yes? Yeah. We are very special. And He is here right now. He is here right now. And whatever you need, whatever you need, if you come for a miracle, you are in the right place. You are in the right place to have your miracle. And the moment you start walking, you're gonna receive your miracle. That's the promise of the Lord. That's the promise of the Holy Spirit. So my fellow members, I'm happy. I hope that, that, that you can see that I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> We're the happiest people on earth, so we need to show the people, we need to show the Lord. So let's walk, 
best to rejoice ourselves in this great convention. Yes, we are witnesses. Who's prepared to be a witness? Let's prepare ourselves to be witnesses into the marketplace where is needed, where is needed. So, my fellow members, here's a man who wants only to please him, only please him, but do my job in my time, in my time. So help me, help me reach those souls, help me reach our goal. And I know that the Lord will bless you. I love you, I respect you because of what you're doing. And most of all, the love loves you in a very special way. Amen. Thank you, and my God bless you, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, our international president, engineer Mario Garcia Olvera. Let's give him a rapturous round of applause for that inspiring speech. He has given us the charge to march on as members of this fellowship. We must go and do the work the Lord has placed unto us. God bless you, sir. Please take your seats. After that speech, you don't need any excuse to go. 